All this leads inevitably leads to crime, which in fact exists in the vast majority of cults, or potentially exists in one way or another. Violations of the law begin. At first a few, then more, and then it's more often, and these are obvious crimes, and they absolutely violate all moral norms. This is how anti-cultists label a targeted group as dangerous and manipulative, though in reality, it is their own actions that are dangerous and manipulative. Through their people in the media, they conduct genuine psychological processing of society. This, in turn, allows them to manipulate the aggressive sentiments of the public. The sentiments that they themselves have provoked, they implant explicit narratives in people's subconscious that all the organizations they label are cults and are dangerous, and that cult members are non-humans. This simple formula plays on the basic instincts of every person, evoking fear for their own lives and the lives of their children, creating an image of a constantly looming threat. Naturally, the reaction to this stimulus is self-defense, with only two options, bite or flight.